Okay, so this is really easy to do, but I haven't mastered a way to do this without making a horrible mess. So the first thing you need is instant coffee. And people ask every time, does it have to be? It has to be instant. So I didn't even know where to find instant coffee. So I just found those Folgers from Target. You need sugar. Some people use like um, Splenda. Some people use um, sweeteners like you would like at a coffee shop, caramel. You can put cinnamon in this. There are so many different ways you can do it. Everyone has their whole vibe. Um, and then you need to get hot water, which I have. And that's the first portion. They have other um, little mixers, which would be great. You can do hand mixing, but if you do hand mixing with this coffee, it's literally gonna take you like um, 20 minutes and your arm's gonna be dead. There's also little immersion ones, which look super cool and like probably make less of a mess than this. So this is like, I found this for $20 at Target. It's um, a Kitchen Smith little $20 mixer. So one of the things, portions of this is just gonna be loud. I learned early on to do a deep bowl. If you have one of those immersion ones, it goes under and it's like better. So here we go. Um, the original recipe calls for two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of water. It's way too sweet. It's just way too sweet. So I'm gonna half things tonight. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the coffee. And then I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of sugar because, and honestly, I'm just gonna do a little bit less because it's just too much. So there we go. Okay, that's all you need other than this water. So I've been boiling some water, just needs to be hot. And I'm gonna put two tablespoons of the water right into this mixture. Okay, now comes the fun part. This is the part that I have not mastered because it's sticky, because it's sugar. I'm gonna try to show you this. Jake, will you come hold this? Um, Jake's gonna come hold this so you can kind of see it as it whips, but I'm gonna put a towel over it a little bit to try to keep it from going too crazy. Because even like this, it's still kind of a process. And if you're just tuning in, I'm making whipped coffee. It's like a big trend on TikTok and it's actually really good. Um, again, it's, if you want it super sweet, two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of warm water. I did two tablespoons of the coffee, just like a little less than one of the sugar and then the water. So here we go. What do you want me to hold? Grab this phone and then Jake's gonna grab the phone and flip the camera so you can kind of watch. So flip it toward down. Yeah, so change this. Okay, now look in here and watch me as I go. Whipping Nene? Yep. Okay. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. It'll get lighter. already getting lighter. So as you can see, that's super frothy and super, it's like way paler than it was when we started. So um, I'm gonna flip this, I'm gonna keep this like this a little bit, Jake, if you'll hold it. So this is our whipped coffee. Now what you'll see people doing on um, TikTok is you'll see them putting the ice and milk in first and then your choice of milk, I'm doing oat milk. Bad idea. If you're gonna do just a picture or a video, great idea, cause it's pretty, but this is so strong that you have to mix it with the milk before you take a drink. Cause if you get like that first glob of it on your face, it's just so strong. Jake, you smell it. You yeah. can confirm. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do actually, which is a little bit different again, if you want to look pretty for a picture, you'll put this on 
after. I'm gonna put this in the bottom. Um, you can do as much as you want. So we're just gonna do, because I would usually make two cups of coffee out of this, one for me and one for Jake. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm gonna pour some milk on top of it, knowing that I'm gonna put ice in there. Okay, and then I would personally take my straw or spoon and kind of mix it a little bit. Um, and as you can see, it's already like looking kind of like a pretty good coffee drink. And then just add some ice to it. And honestly, this is for like at home, this is the best like at home coffee thing I have found, unless you have like a